the traditional pattern of Kauai's, and I'm particularly concerned in this instance about Consequently, if the black colleges are to meet this challenge in the years ahead, they will have to modify their curricula. They will have to make enormous investments in the plant and equipment on their campuses and in the faculties. Otherwise, otherwise, their products would not be equipped to compete in the market that's now unfolding. Now, while these are modest sized institutions, the investments these men have in them are sizable. If they had to sell today, my hunch is there would be very, very few buyers in the black community. Thus, the ones able to take over these institutions are likely to be white. Now, the situation, as I said, is not desperate, but it's one which does require some attention. And I think it means that black people will just, if they are to rescue these and go on to build on these foundations, will have to save more and consume less. And they will have to entrust their savings to black men. And I think black men in turn, especially the young ones who are coming on into these institutions, will have to undergo the training and the apprenticeship, which are the foundation for expertise. If they don't, then I see no reason whatsoever why Negroes should entrust their money to them. 